Good evening. From possibly the best studio in the world that overlooks the iconic Matra Kornish and beautiful. of course the beautiful Porso Kabus, we at Times TV bring to you a special National Day live broadcast on the 47th National Day of Uman. Yes, we're here on the rooftop terrace of the Beit Al Luban restaurant and we have on the show tonight, we have an adventurer, a sailor and a historian and we have a live audience as well. Why? Because <laughs> up to our left here, there's some pigeons sitting on the roof and they've got a, a bird's eye view, perfect, <laughs> a bird's eye view of our show here. But yes, it's a wonderful evening. As uh, Shruti Nair says, it's peaceful and it's calm at the moment. However, I imagine when the sun goes down, it will be a lot busier here on the Corniche. But if you're going to come down, now's the time to come down. Right. So, we have our first guest on our show with us right now. He is Hadim. And I'm honestly not very sure how to introduce him because, well, he's a TV presenter, he's a radio host, he's a youth influencer, so I might as well just go on and ask him. Hello, Adil. Hi, how are you? Thank you for joining how us are you? here. I'm honored to be with you. Thank <laughs> you. This place is amazing. Yes, I would totally agree. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> and a nice breeze as well. Can you feel the breeze running through your beard? I have a, I have a natural filter. <laughs> <laughs> Times TV every year. Yeah, I think, I think if I'm going to be invited every single year, that's going to be a tradition. More than welcome. But in the past two years, I think every one of us has his own uh, custom when it comes to the National Day. So it starts preparing the kids for the school, for celebrating the National Day. And I personally contributed in, in uh, times of the past to writing articles about the National Day. And I have also public lectures uh, for the youth uh, about the National Day and, and so on. So it's a different social media or is it in a college or even in uh, the local places. So. But before we go ahead, I need to ask you this. Is it true that you call yourself Papa Smurf sometimes? S sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. I used to have a, a, a blue dish dash where I, I like for the evening uh, events, <laughs> uh, but I stopped wearing that for, for, for we not calling myself. <laughs> so the blue dish dasher with the beard. With the white beard with then. The, uh, <laughs> with the white beard. Yeah. And the height also is... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't help. It doesn't help. I'm not like a basketball player or something. But you do have a unique way of wearing the bazaar itself, right? Yes. It's, it's Actually, the usual it's this, uh, this turban is called in the Arabic language Imam, which is the historic original uh, Omani headwear. Our ancestors used to wear, but they used to wear it in white. And, but it comes in different colors and forms. And uh, you can find even uh, His Majesty the Sultan Qaboos in some occasions wearing it. Uh, it comes in two colors, the blue and the red. Right. And sometimes he wears it as white. So it's a very, very old, four style. meter uh, <laughs> long. Is, uh, is it uh, harder? Uh, is it much harder to put on? Well, than a, than a well the good thing about it is once you wear it once and then you can take it out as a cap and put ah, it back on. Ah, that's yeah. cheating. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <there>. cheating. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wear it every single day in the morning. <laughs> right. But uh, it's tricky. If, if you don't know how to tie it, then it's tricky. It's almost four meter long. And in the past, it used to be uh, used for many, many things, like a shrine when someone passes away, or even to cover yourself with a blanket. Or nowadays, the young people who are going to the camping, they use it as a rope to pull their ah, car. Ah, right, so it's <laughs> multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, of course, of course. So, well, you've obviously seen Oman change and evolve over the last so many years. Yep. But if I had to ask you for one striking difference that you've seen in the last 40 years, what would that be? I would say the infrastructure, whether it is roads, schools or hospitals. Because it used to be very challenging in the past, uh, whether to travel, to have uh, the basic education level and, and so on, and medical attention as well. Now, Alhamdulillah, everything is provided, uh, and everything is available, and everything is so. I mean, in the past, uh, I would say in the 70s or, or the 80s, it wouldn't be that easy to come to Matra from where. I'm How living. would you come then? Uh, uh, the by, by, by car, uh -huh. but it would be very, very long 
journey. It will take me hours. But today it took me like 20 minutes to be here. Okay. And I hope, well, hopefully, you, it will take me 20 minutes to go yeah. back. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm way. not really sure of that. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you say by car, but no, it was more by pickup truck, wasn't it, in those days? Well, on those days, the pickup trucks, uh, they, they, we didn't have taxis, so we had the pickup trucks. And we used to climb at the back uh, like, uh, like cattle. <laughs> and then uh, most of the time when, when we were young we were very mischief and we don't pay the owner. The there was no meter. The fare, there was no yeah. meter. Was there? <laughs> by the time he, he takes off his seatbelt and, and goes off the car to yeah. come and chase us, gone. you are off. Yeah. Yeah. You've gone. And, and there's a rule as well, isn't there? In every yeah. taxi, if the meter's not working, you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. So, so I would take the opportunity this platform to ask for forgiveness <laughs> to all the taxi drivers that I haven't paid. And if anyone owes me money, then I'm more than happy to pay them. I forgive you, I forgive you. Adam. Now, you're obviously a, a historian as well, and I want to ask you because I've heard this um, rumor, obviously, I haven't been in Oman for very many years, but uh, a rumor that um, the, the airport, the original airport, was in Rui. It was in Rui, yes. Is that true? Yes, yes. Where, where, the runway where was in Rui. Where it is called the district uh, commercial area now. The CBD. The CBD area. Um, then in the center there, that's where the, the, the old airport was. There is a Wadi Valley there. Yeah. And uh, now it's used for training people to drive. And uh, almost somewhere there was the, the, the old airport. And was it just gravel? Well, I'm I, guessing I, it was I, just I gravel then. It was just it? gravel, yes. yes. But have you seen possibly flights land there? I haven't seen because at that time. Very vague in my memory. Yeah. Right. So about this iconic location, do you remember anything or how it was back then, the 70s and the 80s, where we are this, right this now? This used to be a very special place, especially for the people who, uh, who come here. They, they had a fish market, which was very common, very popular. Not like people. the one towards our right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it was very you, popular. Please. People used Brand to come and, and, and uh, get fresh fish from here. And then you have the traditional market, which was always there for the past, and with the small communities, and uh, of course the, the, the folks uh, were there, but they played a very historical moment where we used to hear these stories from our parents, which they, they told us about the folks and what happened uh, uh, in the past. So it really uh, shaped the memories that we have today. But was there like a particular community that resided here back There was the a community or? here. And they were very uh, good with one another. They were, they were, they had a very strong social uh, system. And until today, they have that system where they support one another. They have like a fund and, and so on. And uh, later on, it was more open to the public, and people could go in and uh, see the place and, and have the sense of the past. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adam, for uh, joining us in this wonderful location. I think the uh, the view speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, to say the least. It's 47th National Day here on uh, Times TV. We're on the roof of the Beit Al Luban restaurant. We have a couple more guests to come, but thank you very much to Papa Smurf. Um, <laughs> not wearing his blue dish dash today, um, but it's been an absolute pleasure for you to uh, tell us a little bit about the history. Don't go far.